Yo. Keep doing what you're doing and keep the grind going. <laughs> this was not staged. It wasn't recorded on April Fools. It was recorded a while ago. Coach Greg, in today's video, two WWE superstars and a Mr. Olympia champion making fun of people in the gym. Just when you think it couldn't get any worse, people who should know better are resorting to bullying, making fun of people in the gym. And so, first things first. Hey! You don't see the camera there, do you? Austin Theory and Grayson Waller are working out in the gym and a guy walks by and unfortunately for a brief second interrupts his workout. And so they call the guy out. Did you not see the camera, dude? What's wrong with you? He then stops his workout, puts the dumbbells down, proceeds to talk to the guy. What's wrong with you? Don't you know any better? What's wrong with you talking to the camera? Bro. I'm trying to get his shoulders. I'm trying to get his shoulders. You can't see the shit out, bro. It's Austin Theory. He then tells the guy, don't you know that this is Austin Theory? I mean, he's a WWE superstar and you're interrupting him. He's kind of a big deal. Remember that clip from Anchorman? I'm kind of a big deal. I'm kind of a big deal. And so it's bad enough when regular folk do this, but when somebody is in the limelight and people know who you are, they're going to talk. And one way to really know someone's character is to see how they speak speak to people who aren't in positions of authority. For example, somebody might be respectful to the teacher, to the professor, to the boss, a principal, whoever's in a position of power. Somebody who can dramatically affect someone's life, fire them from their place of employment or get them in trouble and so on. And so in essence, how is that person responding when no one is around, when the cameras aren't around, when you're not recording it for any reason, when no one else is gonna see you? And so do you treat everyone with respect or do you only choose to treat certain people with respect? A lot of people put on a fake front. They're nice to certain people. They're nice when it matters. For example, they're doing a YouTube video and they're acting like they're missity nicety. They're telling it like it is being super nice. But in the real world, when they're talking to people, they ain't so kind. There are people out there who abuse people, abuse animals, they abuse everything. But they wouldn't do that if the camera were rolling. And when they talk to you, they're angels. They're angelic. They're so kind, so sweet. Many people are in relationships like this where at home it's a nightmare. But when they're in public, everyone thinks it's perfect. But no one knows what it's really like. Many people can relate. They know people who are not truly kind souls, but they get away with it. Now, in this case, this is my theory. It's not Austin theory, but my theory. This was posted on April Fool's Day. And the way those two were going, I just don't believe that any two people would actually be this rude in the real world. I feel that their acting is not on point. I feel that Austin Theory and his sidekick, that they just simply were playing it up for the camera. I can't imagine them actually being like this in the real world. And if they were like that, would they actually post the video? Think about it. They have WWE contracts. And do you really think they want Vince McMahon to find out that they're acting and treating people like this? I just don't see it. And so Austin 3 makes a post. Just looking like the guy that'll smack the shit out of Joey Swole. And Joey Swole's comment on his video. Make it happen WWE. And so what I think is going on, at least this is my theory, is that this was staged, it was planned. Joey Swole has millions of followers and he's also very athletic. Have you seen this guy doing backflips? He also has an incredible physique. Could you not see him as a WWE wrestler? I easily could see this as a publicity stunt to get these two in the ring. After all, somebody needs to play the heel. Somebody needs to play the heel. Hero. And so Austin Theory playing the heel like a champ, making fun of somebody, putting them down, acting cool, acting like he's more important to them. Joey Swole, who's the hero to so many millions of followers, protecting people's rights to train safely in the gym. Phil Heath comments. I mean, I have made an appearance in the ring, you know, tag team. I have to think that this was staged. I don't want to believe that the world truly is this bad. I don't think that Austin Theory in the real world would ever do this. I have more faith in humanity than this. I don't think that people are inherently this bad. Of course, some of the people out there are, but I don't think anyone who's a superstar level with employment would let somebody videotape them making fun of somebody because of the ramifications it could create. And so I 
still believe that this was staged. Remember, I'm telling you my opinion. It is, in fact, possible that Austin Theory literally did this, not thinking that he was being a complete idiot. It is possible. I simply don't believe it to be true. But what about the Mr. Olympia champion? I know you've been waiting to find out who this is. And I'm going to give you a hint. He's won more than one Olympia title. Guys won two championships. And so the video titles, Mr. Olympia Champ interrupted while recording in the gym. And so I'm thinking somebody's going to go up to him and poke him and talk to him and try to disrupt him while doing his set. And I'm thinking, well, he has a right to be upset. While you're working out, no one should be coming up to you and talk to you mid-set. But yet, it has nothing to do with it. Watch how bad this actually is. Yo. Oh. Keep doing what you're doing and keep the grind going. <laughs> this was not staged. It wasn't recorded on April Fool's. It was recorded a while ago. He's actually performing a set. A guy's about to walk by the camera for maybe a second. He's doing a lightweight of squats. It looks like a warm-up way. He's not even working hard. And he's waving at him. Don't walk in front of the camera. You're going to ruin my set. Don't walk in front. Get away. As if that doesn't ruin the set already. Imagine you're watching his video and you're seeing him wave off people. What kind of concentration is this? Are you not involved in your set while doing the set? Are you not focused on perhaps mind muscle connection, time under tension, slowly going down eccentric, going faster on the concentric, really feeling the muscle contract? No, I'm worried about who's walking by my camera because I'm a two time Mr. Olympia board shorts champion. That's right, the board shorts champion. Keep the grind going. And she's going to walk in my video right now, right? <laughs> doing what you're doing keep the grind going only you did the exact opposite keep doing what you're doing would mean if there was a freaking group of school children walking by and you ruin your entire set you don't care you don't even notice why because you're in the zone you're training you're training harder than last time you're progressive overloading you're going to failure and beyond you don't care if 40 kids walk by in front of camera you are training and that's what you do but yet, no, I only train hard when the camera's rolling. I only want to push myself when I can capture it on film to post on social media. And notice this Mr. Olympia champion. Why is he covered up from head to toe? He's got the baseball cap. He's got the hoodie on with the face covered. What are you hiding? Is it because you're in your off season and you're not in contest shape? Do you perhaps have body dysmorphia? I would like to see a video about that. Hey, I'm a two-time Mr. Olympia champion. I have body dysmorphia. I can't show my body off unless I have 5 or 6% body fat. Any other time of the year, I don't feel valid. I need to feel validated. You need to like me. And so think of it. One of the best in the world. A two-time Olympia champion. Somebody who should be a role model for the rest of us. I don't have a Mr. Olympia title, but you would never see me complaining, bitching, and moaning because somebody walked in front of my camera for one second. And so you could build a lifetime getting to where you're at, but it only takes one incident to ruin your reputation. You have an incredible physique. You've worked hard to achieve that. You're a two-time Olympia champion, but yet you're going to not only film this, but post it on social media. I get it. You're upset. Perhaps it was a low carb day. And in that moment, you were upset. We all make mistakes. But what you would do then is you delete the video. You don't post it. Because what it does when you post it makes you look like an idiot. Why would you want that? Are you not thinking clearly? I'm going to post this video of myself embarrassing myself, making fun of other people, and people are going to then see it. And so had you just continued to do your set and posted it, people say, look at that guy. He works hard no matter what. 10 people walked in front of the camera, but he didn't stop grinding. He kept going. That is my motivation. I'm going to train like him. No matter what's happening around me, I'm staying focused. That would be a great message. But instead, you ruin it. Hey, everyone. And when you're doing a set, if somebody walks in front of your camera, that makes them a bad person. You should then hate on that person. Anyone who doesn't notice a camera and walks through, that is them disrespecting you on purpose. And I'm a Mr. Olympic champion. Everyone needs, must respect me. And so it never ceases to amaze me of how people just don't get it. They can't just go to the gym and work out and have a good time. They have to think that they're so much more important than everyone else. I don't know as to go so far as to say he's a narcissist, but when somebody thinks that themselves, they matter so much more than everyone else, well, it's not looking good for them. Now, remember, we all make mistakes. And so hopefully he looks back on this video, this experience and thinks, you know what? 
I was in the wrong. We all make mistakes. We all should be able to learn and to grow from this. And so if you do something wrong and in hindsight you think, wow, I shouldn't have done that. Just don't do it again. Learn from it. Rather than thinking we have to hate on this guy for the rest of his life for making a mistake. Remember, this applies to anyone. Think, could he not do better? Have you never done anything wrong yourself? Have you never made a mistake? Probably you have. The problem is in today's day and age with social media, once it's recorded and filmed, it's for life. You may have done something wrong, said something, but it wasn't caught on camera. And so perhaps only one or two people saw it. But imagine having millions of people see that. For example, that kid who was beating up that cat who was sponsored by Young LA, imagine being him. Perhaps you also did something wrong. I'm not saying that you went so low as to beat up a cat, but perhaps you did something you regret. Imagine if that was caught on film. Imagine if everyone knew about it. Imagine how that would feel. And so, of course, you can feel bad for the guy, but one thing you shouldn't do is to put other people down on purpose because you don't like what happened to them. In today's day and age, people are so quick to cancel other people, to throw them under the bus, to say and do anything to make that person look bad. When all you have to do to see somebody bad is to look at yourself in the mirror. We've all done things wrong in our past. We can learn and grow from it. And if one of the things you're trying to do is to develop a better physique, of course, you can head over to my website and get GO2 Max and Turk Builder. Amazing supplements stacked together, give you more endurance as well as help you to build more muscle, give you more energy. Interested in these, it's code GREG, 15% off. And another point I'd like to make, it's not for teenagers. Teenagers, you do not need this. Absolutely, wait until you're older, wait until you reach a plateau, a sticking point, then get this, get you to the next level. If you're a teenager, you have so much testosterone, so many new beginnings, Gains, please make the gains as natural as humanly possible. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm, like the video if you liked it. Please watch one of those two bloops. And of course, the cookbooks, the training book, the circle diet book available in PDF and hard copy, various price points. Also, the clothing line there's tank tops, hoodies, jogging pants, t shirts, jogging shorts, whatever. There's so much stuff, I can't even remember how much we have. Also, become one of the 300,000 plus newsletter subscribers. And until next time, I am out.